All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Pirate Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, it's about that time. It is Tempest Knives Jet Stream time. I'm recording this on Friday night, the 14th of July, uh, 2023. And, and when you're watching this, this is the morning of the 15th. So at 1 p.m. Eastern today, uh, the 15th of July, these two knives in this pouch are going up for pre-order, tempestknives.com. So we have Jetstream. These are coming back from Backpack B, who's been doing a video. We have two versions of the Tempest Jetstream. I have not done my review or my overview or my whatever view, so um, it's time to do that. Now, before I do that, I just want to say that there are, oh, where's my, oh, Lord. Um, I think it's upstairs. But anyway, there are still both Stonewash and Blackwash microbursts available at TempestKnives.com. Uh, apparently, my Stonewash one, which I carried today, is upstairs, so I can't show you that. But these are just, whoops, these are just great knives and just really, really love them. Um, and so these, there's still plenty of jets, excuse me, microbursts, wow, available at TempestKnives.com, uh, both in the black wash with the black titanium hardware and titanium backspacer and the black uh, wire clip and in stone wash with the satin uh, pivot and, and screws and uh, wire clip and titanium backspacer. Um, very, very cool. Uh, I love this knife very much, and I'm glad those of you that have gotten them really enjoy them as well. So, uh, tomorrow, again, uh, well, tomorrow, when you are seeing this, when it drops, uh, is the 15th of July, 2023, and that means uh, the Tempest Knives Jetstream is on pre-order at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, you have two versions available. Now, let's talk about something important really quick. So, right here on the screen, right now, I'm going to put up a picture and, the you know, I'm going to show you one of the main differences, and that is that these scales are going to have micro milling diagonal lines. Now, let me show you, uh, while you're looking at that picture, Look at the picture. Maybe I'll even put up two pictures. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a Kubi knife. This is the Kubi KB360. You see these diagonal lines? That is what is going on the microburst. Diagonal milling lines just like this. Nice micro milling. Uh, gives you a little bit of grip and a lot of beauty. Um, and by the way, if you're interested in these, these are available on Kubi's website as well. But, um, so you have, in this case, you have a stone wash and it is a hollow grind. A lot of reviewers have been kind of confused, even though I sent information. It does not look super um, deep on the hollow grind, but trust me, I have looked at it. I have held, matter of fact, let's just do this right now. Um, I have held a ruler up. Man, can we even do this and show it on camera? Oh, I don't know how to do this. But trust me, the, it is hollow. Um, I can see light through there. I don't know if you guys can or not. It's just a very shallow hollow. And why is that? It's because this is a tall blade. Uh, let's just look at that real quick, okay? Um, so this blade is, golly, an inch and three eighths, okay? So it is a taller blade than a lot of knives. And so you have the grind coming all the way up to here. So that hollow grind becomes very shallow. But let me tell you guys, um, and this has been around a, a couple of reviewers, but let me just tell you, um, it, this thing is an absolute thin behind the edge, cardboard and anything else cutting machine. Uh, you can see there, just made for that. Um, so I am very happy with that. And that was my desire to create a big, thick, uh, tall, uh, good in the hand, you know, thick in the hand, good in the hand, uh, 
you know, work knife and EDC knife, whatever you choose it to be, that's what it is. So back to what I was saying. You have uh, Stonewash 154 CM. Now this says D2. Uh, that's because that's what these are. These are D2 and the prototypes. That's what Kobe, Kobe, Kobe uses in the prototypes. But they are going to be 154 CM. Same kind of grind. Now, uh, I have corrected. Um, I don't know if I can show you this picture or not. If I can, I'll try. But I've corrected the, um, uh, pff, wow, sharpening choil. It is bigger than this. Uh, there's a nice half moon shape in here now. Uh, jimping is going all the way to right about there, just behind the top. Uh, end of this hole so it's going to basically be extended from there okay uh, hold on focus come on come on uh from there to about right there oh come on would you focus thank you so you're gonna have that much extra jimping on there um and then the other kind of difference is um i'm kind of taking this now i can't go too far because uh, I don't want, you know, the, this to be an odd transition. But instead of kind of a uh, square corner here, I've knocked that edge off of that uh, corner right there so that when you pull back on this flipper tab, uh, you just kind of skate and smooth up around there. Uh, so that little corner is kind of knocked down a little bit. I couldn't go much more because A, uh, that's right where all the blade business is happening when it's closed. And the transition is right there. So, um, but I went a little bit. Now, let me just tell you guys, in my opinion, this kind of flipper is best used, uh, you know, kind of what I call the snatch flip. And so what I do is I go up and out, you know, back and up like this. Um, and I don't ever hit that piece um, doing it like that. And that's, you know, a low profile flipper. I've used many of them and that is really the best way. But we're going to knock that off and you'll just skate right past it and it won't be a big deal at all. Now, you got good lock bar access. Uh, you do have contoured uh, titanium scales with a filler tab. And you have this, in my opinion, great, uh, you know, just really basic, but really great titanium clip. Now, titanium uh, pivot, titanium screws, um, you know, you can, you can anodize this stuff and it will be great titanium backspacer. Uh, you do have a lanyard post in the backspacer for you lanyard fans, and your clip is reversible. Very, very awesome. I know, I designed it, so it's kind of weird for me to be saying it's awesome, but, you know, you got to talk about your own stuff sometimes. Um, so you do have the Tempest Knives Tornado, this guy, uh, right here, and uh, you do have a whole and a fuller combination. Now, why do I why do I do that on my knives? A lot of people have noticed that it's similar to, uh, man, I am having all kinds, let me just try something here, all kinds of focus issues. I'm gonna dim this light back just a little. I think that's what's happening. It's fighting with that light and we'll see. Um, so yeah, same general shape of a hole. It's a little bit different. You can see at the at the end just to give it a little more flair and it doesn't have a hump to it. Um, and that's another thing guys I wanted to talk about. You do even though it's it's subtle because of this sort of upturn at the top here before it goes down to that spear point. You have a nice little area to nestle and when that jimping is there, that is going to be perfect. Now know where to choke up, but it is a big four finger handle. Uh, and man, this thing just loves to cut. Now, back to what I was talking about. You got the hole and you can flick. You've got the fuller. You can come down here and flick. You've got the thumb open easily with the hole and you have the flipper. So uh, lots of, of methods. Now, uh, the detents are a little tiny bit softer on uh, the... Um, uh, on the what is this called? Stonewash version. Um, and I've asked them to turn that up just a little bit without making it uh, where it cannot be opened, uh, you know, easily. So uh, they're going to work on that. Um, you do have uh, your pocket clip goes to about right there. So you got a little bit sticking out up here at the top. Uh, you know, to me, not a huge deal. 
Um, but that's exactly how I designed it because I, I really wanted to do, instead of a uh, wire clip on this one, I wanted to do a uh, titanium clip. So there you go. And yeah, I am absolutely loving it. And yes, I do know it's my design. Uh, again, very cool cutter. Now, over here, the second version is again, 154 cm, but with a black wash blade. Guys, I think Kubi does both the stone wash and the black wash pretty much better than anybody. That is my opinion. Uh, you can see I don't like a shiny black coating. So what they do is they do this really nice stonewash knockdown uh, that takes it to this really nice matte finish. And then their uh, stonewash is one of the best uh, I've seen, period, end of story. Now, same thing. You'll have your blade marking. Ah, focus. Why? Because there's 8,000 things on the table. That's why. All right, let's move a couple of things. I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this guy off for a minute. Whoa, there we go. Much better. Um, so you're going to have your steel marking, which is going to say 154CM. And then you're going to have uh, this guy, and that's all the billboarding. Now, on this one, your hardware is black. Um, again, this is called a reverse tuck. So what I'm calling these on the pre-order on the website is I'm calling this the Knives Fast version and this because uh, you guys know I love blue, and this, the um, uh, reverse tux. So those are the two versions. That's all I'm doing for the pre-order. Um, now, a couple of things. Number one, uh, well, let's, let's go over a couple more things first. Okay, so this is right at an 8-inch knife, okay? So we'll just, we'll just do this to the tip, to the back, 8-inch. So you got a 3.5-inch blade, and you have a four and a half inch handle, and that is the same length as the pinion, we'll put, um, and as the Mach 51. Um, so it's, it's basically the same length as those two knives, but as you can see, it is considerably taller. Um, and, and that is because, you know, there's so many thin little knives being made. And I just wanted to do my thing, which is a nice uh, size titanium folder. Now, you're getting a couple of... Oh, by the way, uh, man, I am all over the place on this video, and it is going to be long. You have a ton of milling inside. Now, there is no liner on this side. That is just a titanium slab. And then on this side, you have a partial steel liner. That is it. You see there? There's milling at the top for weight reduction. And then just a partial um, steel liner for your lock bar, lock up. I mean, to me, that is absolutely perfect. About 35 or so. Uh, they are all centered. All of all six of the prototypes have been very good. Um, just have been very pleased with their workmanship on these. And uh, again, lock bar access is really nice uh, for me. And this guy, guys, big blade, and so. It just wants to go home, okay? So, yeah, it is a dropper. So, very, very cool. Now, our normal comparisons, uh, we will do those. So, here is your Ontario Rat 1. Really, Casey? Ontario Rat 1. My hands aren't working so good. I've been out in the yard using a chainsaw for several hours. So, there you go. We'll pull one of them off. And here is your Rat 2. So, you can see it's similar to the length little bit shorter than the rat one and way bigger than the rat two so there you go now uh one thing uh so guys you can see like i said uh that i have done everything you can do uh to take this knife and make it light um it is about 4.8 uh ounces it depends on which one it's it's weird they all weigh a little bit different um, so that's a, a little heavier than, than, uh, I usually would, would be designing, but for this knife with the size, everybody that has held this at blade show or reviewers has said the same thing. Definitely not too heavy. And I agree with that. It is absolutely not. Um, there's not really any way I can change that because it's just like, let me just show you guys one more comparison here. 
Um, this will kind of get that point across, I think. Um, this guy, the Devo Mash, is, is a little bit lighter. Uh, but as you can see, it is uh, significantly less tall blade and handle. So if you're adding that much titanium, that is where the weight is coming from. And that is the way I designed the knife. And that's, uh, you know, I didn't want to make another mash or another whatever. I wanted to make, uh, you know, my knife. And it's funny, you know, uh, what's cool is for those of you that have bought the KB360, um, you know, similar height wise, I, I didn't even realize that at the time. Um, and then when I bought this one, I was like, whoa, okay. Uh, very, very cool. Different blade, different everything. But, you know, it's it's uh, size-wise a uh, comparable uh, for sure. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Let's see, what have I missed uh, review-wise? Oh, lockup. Uh, they are, there's no side-to-side, -side, no up and down. They're locked up very, very nicely. Kubi kills the action on these bearings. By the way, the bearings are the uh, five millimeter one sixteenth bearings, same as are on the microburst. Let's do a family photo here. Same as are on the pinion, uh, and you can get skiff bearings uh, for that size. Now, I will warn you. Uh, to me, these things are already super droppy, uh, so I'm not sure you really want even more droppy, but if you do, uh, that's on you. <laughs> uh, so warning, if you make it more droppy with skiffs, uh, yeah, uh, that's your choice. But uh, there you go. Uh, so there is the Tempest Knives family. Now this is quite a longer video than I usually do. And again, I just want to go over this one more time. The pre-order will go live at 1 p.m. Eastern time on the 15th. People are asking me how long I'm leaving it open. And the answer is, I do not know. I don't know how quickly these are going to be snagged, but I will tell you this, and this is important. Oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned the price in this video. The price is $129.99 while the pre-order is open. That is a very low price. Uh, Margin-wise, I have cut it as far as I can because the pre-order is not available for dealers. It's available for you guys. Um, but when these, when I shut the pre-order off and I order the knives, uh, then um, the price will. The next time they come up on my website, the price will go up. They're either going to be 140 or 145. I have not decided yet, and that gives me room uh, to get these out to dealers. So I am buying a much smaller amount of these uh, than I did for either the pinion. Uh, the pinion or the microburst, they were much larger orders than this will be. So basically, here's the way I'm thinking of it. When when it funds, in other words, when I get enough money to place the order, um, I'm going to place the order with Kubi, and then um, I'll probably leave it open a few days to a week longer. There are a lot of people telling me they need a week or two to get some money in, and I may leave it open um, but guys, I got to tell you, I want to make sure those of you giving me your money up front are honored and, and you get a special deal because that's what this is, 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 is a special deal. So that's what we're doing. And, uh, we will, we will play it by ear and I will announce and let you know. Now, what Kubi is telling me is that once I place the order, it's going to be, listen, about 60 days from when they get the money to when they ship them to me. Um, now, as you know, with the microburst, there was a delay in manufacturing. I cannot control that. I will not be able to control it. So I'm telling everybody, you might as well count on three months from when I place the order, and then we will see if it's better than that, then, then hallelujah, uh, we'll all be happy and uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I would say. Plan on it being three months from when I place the order. I will tell you when I place the order and hopefully we'll be closer uh, to 75 days. That is that is absolutely my hope. So this is a super long video for the Knives Fast channel. We are knives slow today, but hopefully you guys enjoyed getting some details. Now, if you have any questions today or whenever, please send me an email, 
tempestkniveusus at gmail.com, and I will answer that question as quickly as I can. Um, and if you have any trouble with the pre-order, same thing, uh, tempestkniveusus at gmail.com. And again, the pre-order link will be down in the description and in a comment, and it will be tempestkniveus. Dot com tempestknives.com and there's also microbursts available and there are a few uh, G10 pinions left not many like two or three total I think um, crazy crazy but there you go guys hope you enjoyed this extremely long video I am very excited for today uh, when this is posting and I am also uh, apprehensive, uh, just cause I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm hoping it goes really well. And I thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up and a comment down below all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell, and thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.